I'm... I'm thinking about going on uh, a writing rampage. Um, now, if, if, if you've been following Watch, Stand, Pray, watchstandpray.com for about a week or two or so or something like that, I don't know, you go to Twitter and find the calculations or whatever the, the, the post dates are. They're all over the place. These, um, these posts I'm writing, I've got about 75 of these little reads unwritten. Only about 57 are actually published right now. But I'm working writing ones in advance because I'm writing them by topic. And I've spread them out so that it's a kind of an even trickle of different types of topics throughout the, the 365 reads. So I'm publishing them in sequence that you would read them, but not in the order that I'm writing them. I've already got... I'm, I'm to about 100... I'm over 130 that have already been written. So I'm making my progress and I'm, I'm moving along with that. And it's exhausting. But on top of that, in addition to that, I am seriously contemplating going on a writing rampage. But, oh, no, goodness, when I did the first podcast uh, nine years ago, I would go on about the problem with your church, my church, that church, our church, what church, and um, the, the God bless, God darned authority. I mean, it, treating pastors like they yanked a sword from a stone or something. And yeah, I mean, it's based back to the Monty Python thing. It's, you know, so, well, how'd you get to become king then? You know, well, the lady of the lake, her iron clad and shimmering say might, held aloft from Excalibur. You know, you know, strange women lying in ponds, distributing swords. There's no basis for a system of government. You know, you, that, 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 kind of, it's back to that. I, there's this lady who is, uh, she's been in Hong Kong for 50 years or something like that. And she's speaking, she was speaking at, a women's conference at IHOP KC and she multiple times confronts the topic of the established church uh, confronting her as uh, you know whether she's official or you know what is she and I'm coming to the firm conclusion that this obsession with trying to decide what something is. Is, is this a fellowship or, or, or is, is, it an, is, it, is it a church or what? That's satanic. I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion. Human beings don't ask that question. Demons do. And see, no, I'm, I'm see, someone, that, you said it's satanic. You just want to say mean sounding things. You're just hunting for a way to tell people they're Satan people. Uh, I know some, some people are going to go into that animal mode, but the rest of you use your intellect and, and understand what I'm trying to say here. Angels don't understand human behavior. It, good and bad. Fallen and holy. Angels don't get us. They've been watching us for 7,000 recorded years anyway, and they don't get us. They don't know why we do what we do. They, they don't understand why we don't pray for our own countries. The angels, the holy angels, can't figure out why we don't pray for our own countries. And the demons, they don't care why. They just know that we won't. <laughs> Those people <laughs> pray to protect their own country? <laughs> yeah, they never will do that. You know, and so just, but they know it happens, but it doesn't make sense to them. And so, you know, a human can walk outside and he can he can look at the forest and he can see an apple tree. He sees the apple blossoms. If he's from Michigan, he says, oh, that's my state flower. That, that's an apple blossom. That, 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 there's an apple tree. Or it's got apples growing on it. Or it's got rotten apples all on the ground underneath it. Or the deer go over and eat the apples. There, there's the, the leaves, the tree, you know... They, an apple tree is an apple tree. You know, by the shape, the bark, the leaves, the, the blossom, the fruit. You look at the tree. It's an apple tree. 
It's not an apple tree because some government dweeb came along and posted a little note that this here is a government certified apple tree. That is not how people recognize apple trees. Jesus said, ye shall know them by their fruit. And when someone walks in and you got this lady in Hong Kong praying for people and people are coming to believe in Jesus and people are giving up drug addiction lives and, and people's lives are getting better and people are supernaturally being healed by the Holy Spirit and they're praying and they're worshiping Jesus when that comes along and happens. And then some other guy pre- pretending, claiming whatever to be a Christian a leader speaker says, what is this? Is this is a fellowship or a, a, a church? I, 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 what? You can't tell what it is? It's the body of Christ, dude. Did you just skip that class in seminary? D- did you not read that half of the Bible? D- d- is there like what? You know, it's a group of Christians that are praying and loving each other. And that, so that that's the body of Christ. That's the universal all Christians church. And this is a little group of them. That's what it is. But see, a human would know that, but a demon wouldn't. A demon would see a bunch of people doing stuff and he doesn't know if that's a group of Christians doing stuff or if it's a group of, not, they, they don't. Demons can't see human behavior for what it is. So the question, the, this striving, this hunger to try to take a Christian group and make it official, it only makes sense to demons that that would be a need, need, a need. Now, if you're, if you're, if you're a human, it might be a want. It's convenient to have a bank account. It's convenient to have an address. It's convenient but it's not a need. It's not necessary. The Bible doesn't say thou shalt have a taxpayer ID number before thy gives ministry. That's not biblical. You'd think it is when you listen to pastors that draw their salary and pay for their kids' college education from Sunday morning donations. You'd think that, but it's not in the Bible. The only people that really need that official labeling are, are demons. You think about it. They're the only ones that would. So when that guy comes, is this, what is this? Is this, is this a, is this a group? I don't get it. I wonder if he's demon possessed. I'm just, I just wonder. So I'm, I'm looking at this, at this obsession with the officialized Christian fellowship. And I'm getting ready to go on a writing rant. I, I haven't done it in a while, but I'm seriously thinking about going on all out attack. And I'm, if, if I don't see the, the passive aggression and the subtle little cool, you know, pa, you know, little mean little statements to try to guilt people into becoming part of this officialness that only th- th- that demons need and that humans who want at most, but that only demons need, uh, if I don't see it back off, I, I'm thinking about going on a writing rant. So consider yourself warned. If I suddenly get on a writing rant about this stuff, I've, 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 been, I've been there. Now, 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 I agree with the lady. If, if there's a group and the group's got a leader and in the leader, he's doing something, you know, follow the, follow the rules of the group or don't be in the group. That, I mean, I get that. That makes sense. But this need for official for everything, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I'm just going to get to the point. The world advances and decays one person at a time. Institutions follow the footprints of pioneers who do the actual exploring and surveying. Real things are accomplished by hardworking real people. Institutionalization, however, is but a shell that remains after the life of an organic society petrifies. Unfortunately, most cultures revere institutions as a kind of official status, as if a group or movement is somehow less valid before it incorporates and forms a board. Actually, becoming official in that sense makes a group less legitimate. Just be who you are. 
Real people will recognize you for who you are. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.